Hello and welcome to Revit for BIM Training Seminar, Session 3, Curtain Panel Systems, continuing with Part 1 in Project Curtain Walls. OK, so jump back to where we were last video. Let's delete off what we did last time. And let's start afresh. I want to quickly cover embedding curtain panel systems into a, a wall, so something a bit more like what you would experience on a regular building if I choose a wall type which is that so this is an 8 meter high wall based on level 0 if I want to embed a curtain panel system into it the quickest and easiest way to do it is to go to curtain system these are the previous ones we were looking at curtain walls. Let's use one of the other ones, storefront and exterior glazing, their grid systems. Let's use exterior glazing for now. First thing to check is go to edit type. And this is important. Automatic embedding. If you turn that on, we can now apply a curtain wall along this wall important things here base offset let's say I'm going to do a meter offset and it's going to be a three meter system so the overall height be four meters and I can do this it automatically then cuts the paneling system into the wall I can now add mullions to this grid system along a predefined pattern. Obviously this is editable. I can draw this in a little way until it meets there. So you see it's a very quick and easy way of doing that. If I select the system, exterior glazing is the one I use. Now if I change the storefront you'll see you get more of a grid pattern and again that allows me to add more mullions into the design. I can make further changes to this grid system by selecting the whole system and looking for the configure grid layout icon. This allows me to add angles to the run of the mullions. I'm going to change that to 5 degrees and you see I do get a change I'm going to change the top one to minus 5 degrees you need to stick between 0 and 90 degrees with that move ok the further way of adding curtain systems if you find on the architecture tab curtain systems button this needs a mass and that goes into mass modeling which is covered in a previous video you need a mass model in here to create a system onto so it works very similar you have the same controls of the grid system mullions panels etc um, but that is driven by a mass if I want to embed a curtain wall system into this wall that isn't rectangular then I have a few options as to how I can go about that if I select and delete the original one, go into walling, we'll use this time just basic curtain wall so it's not got a grid pattern on it. We've got the same options as before here, 4 meters, 1 meter. Let's make our angles 5 and 5. Let's come in here and select our wall. So we've got an automatically embedded wall. At the moment it is rectangular as before. If I select the system, go to edit profile. Let's look at this from the face on. You see I can now start making changes to this profile. I'm going to completely delete the profile to start with. Draw a line that's running 
at 5 degrees. Now the easy way to do this is just select, stick any line in, select it and then make the change. Change that to 85. I can copy this line down multiple times. Let's do once and twice. Now it's a case of using perpendicular lines in there and start trimming around. So if you haven't used the trim command you want to get the hang of that. I'm going to have to split this line here to trim it. Okay, hit the tick and I get my system. Just going to come to an angle again. This time select my profile. Just double check that those are still at five degrees. The reason for that is if I now come in with my curtain grid system, you'll see I can add a curtain grid system in here that runs at five degrees. So I'm not being too particularly accurate here. Maybe one more in there. If I want to remove sections, if I select it, use add and remove sections and then click on the ones I want to remove, click off, you'll see those have disappeared. If I want to make changes, I can drag these around to neaten it up. Okay, so you see they're staying at 5 degrees. Obviously that could be a lot neater than I'm being. But you get the idea. So now I can come in with my mullions, use all grids, and select that. I might get some options that aren't working for me just because of the grid layout. But I think you get the idea. Let's explore adding curves into this process. We'll use a curtain wall again, but let's duplicate it by going to edit type, going to duplicate, call it curtain wall 3 for now. Okay, that's just so we don't overwrite what we've just done there. Same process, but let's get rid of those angles. We don't need them this time. Going to add a rectangular let's select it and go to edit profile again I'm going to remove all of those lines let's add in let's do a radial one let's move across from there with that line selected, let's turn on its center mark. So we can now see where the center of it is. Let's now offset it. Let's do a 2 meter offset above. And we shall draw a line from the center. So roughly there. Trim those two up. Okay, I want to show you how we can get a radial pattern around here. We can't use grid lines to add radial mullions into this design. There's no option for creating a radial mullion pattern. So a bit of a workaround is what we're going to do now. So let's select this line and we'll rotate a copy. around the point here. Now I could do this by eye or I could add 10 degrees to get me my copy. To do the same again, to rotate, send that center of rotation down to the radial point, copy, 
pick it up, start moving it. This time I'm just going to do one degree. If I now repeat, selecting that line, to rotate, pick it up, start moving it, turn on copy to 10 degrees. You see I can work my way around here. However, now I've done it once, I can use my control to select both lines, use the rotate down to there, turn on copy, and instead of adding it in again, I could just move around like that. This time I can select all four lines, so you see every time I'm doing this it's getting a little quicker to get to the end. As long as I pick it up from this point, turn on copy, start working my way around like that. Okay, let's do a little bit of tidying up. Trim those lines off there. We're going to have to put split in between each one of these junctions. And then use our trim to go around and neaten up. Okay press on the tick and we get a radial pattern. So you see you don't only have to have one hole, you can have many holes. If we add mullions to all grids we'll get frames around our windows.